That's good. I'm going to do a three package unboxing today. I was expecting a few more, but oh well, next week will be fine. Um, not quite sure what this is, so we'll start with this one. By the way, using my spider cone knife again. I think I've showed you that. I love this knife. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> this is a 2000 S uh, Kennedy proof half dollar. 90% silver. Still in the... The auction said a Littleton package... I've heard of them, but I don't know much about them, but why does she not focus in? Yeah, 90% silver proof says proof 63. I don't know how accurate that is, but it's pretty nice. It was at a decent price. It was like 9 bucks or something like that. Shipped, so picked it up. I'm doing a... I got two rolls of halves right now, and I kind of want to do like an odd, an odd roll of like proofs and weird halves. Actually, something I unboxed yesterday that I haven't shown. Sorry, hold a second. I'll just do one. This is a... They called it a medial Balboa of Panama half dollar. It's actually pretty cool. It's same same weight and purity as an American half. Um, it's a little bit thicker. Why is it not focusing? Come on. It's a little bit thicker than a U.S. half, but they're pretty close. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I got two of those to put in my oddball tube. But yeah, those are pretty cool. Let's find my other one here. And now, get to this package. Oh, uh, yeah. Picked up a bunch of these. I got two of them today. I should get... Oh, there's three of them in here. Oh, there's three of them. Uh, those... A second prize giveaway. That I, I had to pick up some for myself because they're they're pretty cool. I might crack them out of the air tights and fill up my tube with them, but I'll keep all the boxes just in case. Uh, I know I probably shouldn't do that, but silver, silver. It was a decent price, so and I got three of those guys. Let's put these up. Show them off because they're cool. <laughs> They also make these, this is the proof version, they also make them in just uncirculated, just regular. Which I got, I ordered one or two of those too on the way. Um, and this one is not a precious metal, but something I've been researching and wanted to add to my already decked out M&P 9, but here's a... Sorry, I'm like zoomed in a lot, some or something. My Hogue Handall grips. I like this because it actually comes with that little snap in. It snaps right into my M and P. But yeah, these are supposed to create really, really, really nice uh, grip to your pistol. So, uh, any of you gun guys out there, I'm gonna post a video. Possibly of uh, installing that onto my M&P, so pretty excited about that. But uh, 
here's part of my weekly buys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six half dollars. Uh, I got another, I don't know, four half dollars on the way, and next week I'm going to make a pretty, pretty decent sized order. I got to start saving up too because uh, the new Zombox coming out in a couple of weeks. Just gotta get a couple of those too. You guys should check that out. Silverfish VT did a video on it. It's the Barber. They did a spin off on the Barber, made him into a zombie, and it's, it's pretty cool. It might be one of my favorite ones so far out of the four they, well, three they currently have. But yeah, you'll have to check that out. And uh, stay tuned for more unboxings and also my possible install install video for my uh, whole grips here so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos